Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to navigate to the Creator Hub in Roblox. So when you click the Create tab in uh, Roblox, it will send you to the Creator Hub. Now, this will start off by booting you on the dashboard, which contains a tab for your home. Uh, creations, your creator, the home, the creations, finances, localization, ads, open cloud, and then a couple of quick links to Roblox Studio and Roblox. Now we're going to go through what each of these are. So the creator, if you click on that, that will come up with you and all the groups that you are a developer or have permission to edit places in. So you can click on one of these and then you'll be viewing the projects available to that group or person. For example, I can click on Drupal Studios and I can see all the projects and experiences even that are linked with that group. Anyway, I'm just going to stick to myself for now. Uh, if we click on creations, this comes up with all your creations, all your experiences, um, your avatar items that you've made, uh, any development items such as models, plugins, audios, all of those cool things, things that you find in the toolbox. And also events, which I've not actually ever played around with. But events are basically, you can, for example, create an event and then you'll be able to give it a name and things like that. Uh, select an experience for it and then that means that at that specific date and time you give, um, there will be an event for that, for your experience. I'm not too familiar with these, I've never played around with them myself, but that is what they are. Now back under the experiences uh, tab here, if you, you can hover over these, click the dots and you get loads of cool options to play around with it or you can click on it and um, it will let you edit information about the experience. If we now head over to finances, you'll see we have DevEx and transactions. So DevEx is basically how developers get paid. Uh, so when a Roblox developer makes Robux from their game, they will be able to cash those Robux out uh, for money. Now you must have a minimum 30,000 Robux in your account to cash out. The current rate it reckons here is uh, $105 for 30,000 ro Robux. All the details it says down here, you must have at least 30,000 Robux, a uh, verified email address, a valid DevX portal account, at least 13 years or older, a uh, community member in good standing, basically make sure you are not in Roblox's bad books, um, and then you can cash out. Transactions, I'm not going to click on that, but that will just show you all your Robux transaction history. So whenever you made Robux, spent them, uh, things like that. Now the localization tab, I'm just going to leave for now. I think there's a few problems with that from uh, what I can see. So I'm just going to skip over that. If we go over to ads, if we click on these, it will take us to other sites where we can create sponsored ads or user ads to promote uh, experiences or avatar items, etc. And there is also the open cloud where you can get API keys and a few other uh, apps and things which are more for higher end developers and third party software. Now that is the dashboard up in the documentation. You've got, uh, this is literally all the documentation. I won't click on any of these because this will just show you more docs and stuff. But the overview, this will give you an overview of all the documentation, documentation on the engine, the avatar system and the cloud. If you hit marketplace, this will take you to the mo the marketplace, what's currently trending, uh, all the categories where you can find models, plugins, audios, fonts, images, meshes, and videos. Uh, the talent, talent is actually an interesting one. Uh, now, I don't recommend looking at this unless you're confident in programming, but you people will go on here, ask for jobs and things, um, like, oh, I need this being coded, I'll give you 100, Robux, that's a bit low, but you know, a hundred Robux if you can program me this game. Um, and you can then go and apply on there as well. So that's quite interesting. You can also find teams and creators on here as opposed to just jobs. Uh, it's really good if you want to make your own game with someone else. You need to, f you're looking for people to create with. Um, but just make sure you know what you're doing when you're around here. You know, last thing, you don't want to end up doing a project for someone that you don't actually know what you're doing um if you just end up watching tutorials the whole time that you are doing a job for someone it's just going to end up not probably not being very well written and you might end up just getting kicked off the project so the forums is like a uh, place where everyone people just ask questions and stuff everyone helps everyone and 
um, yeah, you can ask if you have problems with programming, you can ask for help on the forums. And the roadmap, this is uh, basically Roblox's roadmap. So you, they'll just post updates here on what they're working on, things like that. Their latest announcements, just things that you, you know, only upcoming features, stuff like that. And that is the Creator Hub, basically. That is the Creator Hub in a nutshell. So all I wanted to do in this video was just quickly cover it because I know it's updated a lot from the videos. Uh, obviously, a lot of videos I've done in the past have used the old uh, Create page. And now that the Creator Hub is so different, I don't want to create confusion with people who are following old videos, um, fi trying to figure out what to do because something might be slightly different in this new layout. So I thought I'd cover the new layout in this video in hope that... Uh, people will find it and not be stuck so yeah thank you everyone for watching that is all i wanted to show you today uh i'll see you in the next video and goodbye